Uh, the Nutcracker is back at the War Memorial Opera House for the 78th season. In fact, the famous ballet made its U.S. debut in San Francisco back in 1944. Now the San Francisco Ballet is breaking barriers with the debut of the company's first black principal ballerina. Elizabeth Cook has the story of this year's Sugar Plum Fairy. Nikisha Fogo has been waiting for this moment all year. It's always the moment before you go on stage is really special because I, I, I have like a little mantra that I say before. It's opening night of the Nutcracker and Nikisha is the sugar plum fairy. You have the nerves. As soon as you step on stage, it kind of just lets go. Yeah, it's a really nice feeling. But before the curtain opens at the War Memorial Opera House, her preparation begins here at her apartment. And for a moment, she looks like any other 20 something living in San Francisco. Only Nikisha makes her breakfast next to her point shoes. It's definitely a full time job in a lot of aspects, <laughs> in the sense that um, the job doesn't really finish once you leave, um, leave the office. <laughs> Everything from her makeup. And I normally try to um, match my eyeshadow or like the, the vibe of the makeup with my costume, which I love. To her clothes. This one is really pretty. This feels like a sugar plum. <laughs> it's all about getting into character. As the principal dancer for the San Francisco Ballet, she knows her impact reaches far beyond the stage. I did get a lot of messages from people, like um, saying that I'm helping them or in, that I'm inspiring to them, which makes me like obviously really, really, really happy, and I love that I can help people. Um, but at the same time, sometimes, obviously, they can it can be a little bit of a pressure. Um, in the sense that obviously I want to do good too and I want to be a, a good role model for others. Yeah, this one can stay here, but these ones are coming with me. <laughs> Nikisha was born in Sweden. Her father is Jamaican and her mother is white. It's supposed to be here. <laughs> Both of them are dancers, and it was clear early on that she had a gift, but it hasn't always been easy. When I was younger, um, one of my teachers actually said to me that I would never become a professional ballerina because my hair was too frizzy. That's why I'm happy that I can be someone that can inspire others to not believe those nonsense like that. <laughs> Last January, she almost had to hang up her point shoes for good after an injury nearly ended her career. I think the hardest with the injury is not only the injury, it's also uh, the mental aspect of injury, uh, like not talking down on yourself and staying motivated. Former principal dancer Ricardo Bustamante is her rehearsal director. Nikisha's got a good fiber and, you know, she's a very courageous dancer. She's got a lot of nuances of uh, what makes a dancer beautiful. Um, she can be soft, she could be strong, she could be passionate. And that's exactly what Nikisha wants to be known for, to the countless young dancers who see themselves when she takes the stage. Oh, there is still time to see the Nutcracker in San Francisco. The ballet runs through December 27th.